Banning books is nothing new. It's been going on since at least the ancient world, and probably ever since the very first books were written around 5,000 years ago in the form of tablets, scrolls, and sheets of papyrus. But the first known example from history? Well, that was well over 2,000 years ago in China. Emperor Shi Huangti allegedly buried 460 Confucian scholars alive to keep them from writing the history of China. He also burned all the books inside of his kingdom, destroying any ancient historical records he could possibly find. Why? He believed the history of China should begin with him. <laughs> Sounds like a chill guy. In ancient Rome, books were sometimes banned, burned, or used as a political excuse to send someone into exile. The Emperor Caligula even opposed the reading of the Odyssey, a book written more than 300 years before his reign, all because it was too Greek and undermining the Roman culture or something. Book burning and banning seems to have cooled down for a bit after the fall of Rome, but came back with a fury once the Roman Catholic Church was up and running in medieval Europe. The strangest part? Many of the books being publicly burned by the church in this period were Bibles. You see, at the time, the church didn't exactly encourage regular people to pick up a Bible and read it on their own. They felt it should be written only in the Latin and interpreted only by their clergy and no one else. But that didn't stop people from printing and smuggling Bibles in English, German, French, Italian, and other languages and selling them to common folks. Whenever these banned Bibles were discovered, they were publicly burned. The first book ever officially banned in America happened before the US was even a country. Back in 1637, more than a hundred years before the Revolutionary War, a book called New English Canaan earned that distinction. The book documents the history, beliefs, and practices of the native people living in the area, as well as the landscape and wildlife. Seems pretty tame, so why the ban? Well, the three-volume book was written by Thomas Morton, a lawyer and author who wasn't so fond of the Massachusetts Bay Colony or the Puritans running it. Alongside the history of the land and people, he included blistering criticism of the colony and the way they were treating the land and the native people living there. The book was part celebration of the beauty of the natural world and part send up of the uptight and often cruel lifestyle of the Puritans who, quote, make a great show of religion, but no humanity. Yeah, needless to say, they didn't like that. Banning Thomas Morton's book apparently wasn't enough, because in 1644 he was arrested in Boston and became New England's very first exile. He died in Maine just three years later. Nowadays, books are still banned and challenged, most of the time by concerned parents who pressure school systems into banning them. The most commonly banned books over the last 20 years? The Harry Potter series! Yeah, not exactly a dangerous book deserving of a ban. If you take the time to read it, just remember kids, it's okay to not like something without spoiling it for everyone else. <laughs>